six foot two. He's driving super recklessly, yeah, okay. headed down Sandy, kind of going into oncoming traffic. Video obtained by KGW shows a carjacking suspect trying to lose police. He may very well have succeeded, at least for a while, if not for the police airplane tracking the stolen truck and trailer from the sky. He's right over 122nd now, trying to squeeze through. And it looks like he's going to go south on 121 place, south on 121 place from Sandy. If he hits someone, we're going to have a problem. Bill Balzer is a tactical flight officer for the Portland Police Bureau. In layman's terms, he's the Bureau's eye in the sky. He was Tuesday afternoon at least. Balzer caught wind of the carjacking and was overhead in mere minutes. That's a call that when it comes out, most police officers that I know want to be part of it and want to get there. Officers know just how dangerous these sort of situations can be. And this case was no different. He's going onto the right shoulder to get around cars. May have clipped a car here at 181 in San Rafael. Before we show you how this whole thing ended, we should explain how it all started. He's not a professional thief or anything like that at any means. They just Maybe he got super desperate. Vitaly Aspidoff is referring to the man accused of attacking one of the employees of his landscaping company as he gassed up some equipment in northeast Portland. A guy came up from behind and kicked him in the back, and he pretty much fell and hit his head on the concrete. And then the guy jumped in the driver's seat and took off with the back door of the trailer down. As soon as Aspidov heard about what happened, he pulled up the GPS on the truck and relayed the information to police. Aspidov then rushed over to the hospital to be with his injured employee, who's expected to make a full recovery. You know, obviously you always start thinking the worst, you know, when you hear those kinds of things. And then, you know, when I'm just glad it wasn't it wasn't any worse and and it uh, ended well. It ended well for the victim and police. From the plane, Brian Bolzer watched as this happened. Stopping and bailing, stopping and bailing. The driver's running back south towards the police cars. He went right back behind you guys. They're over towards the building to your left. Officers on the ground heard the call, moved in, and made the arrest. It looks like they had him proned out. We are in Okay, we're going to move. Satisfying at the end of the night to go home and know that you helped out. All right, the suspect in this case has been identified as 30-year-old Benjamin Hendricks. He's been jailed on a number of charges, including robbery and reckless driving. In the meantime, some of the landscape company's equipment may have fallen out of the truck during this event. It might have been picked up by people on the street. If you have any information about that or information about other vehicles that may have been hit during this pursuit, you're urged to contact the Portland Police Bureau. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.